was an anxious man. He stopped carrying a pocket knife for fear that during one of his dark moods he would do damage to himself. For years he took these little blue pills to help himself calm down. After he was elected, he confided in me that when he looked in the mirror, he saw two images. One normal and the other quite pale. Only he could see it. When he asked me what I thought it meant, I should have said, you need new glasses, honey. <laughs> That's what I should have said. Instead, I told him I thought it meant that he would die during his second term. What was I thinking? No wonder he took pills. Two loves I have of comfort and despair, which like two spirits do suggest me still. The better angel is a man right fair. The worser spirit, a woman colored ill. Will the grads be joining us at the theater tonight? I asked him at the breakfast table this morning. It was a simple question. I spoke clearly. I didn't mumble. And yet he just keeps reading his paper. No response at all. Will the grads be joining us at the theater tonight? No response. Does he even hear me? I am ignored. Mary doesn't matter. I do matter. Mary matters. Mary matters. I rush at him, claw him with my nails, tear the beard from his face. He screams out in pain. Broken china on the floor, hair between my knuckles. Tears and blood stream down his torn, frightened face. What is wrong with me? Our wedding night, an eight by 14 foot room above the Globe Tavern, lots of honesty. <laughs> <laughs> that night, the rest of the world be damned. We were rich in each other's arms, lots of laughing. <laughs> he got out of bed, naked, laid on the floor, and did an impersonation of bacon frying in the pan. <laughs> It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs>